One of the main reasons why a lot of Jewish people of faith refuse to believe that Jesus Christ is the promised Messiah is because they believe that the coming of the prophesied leader is synonymous with his reign. When Jesus appeared in the first century, the non-extravagant presentation of the supposed carpenter's son, who also did not bring his physical kingdom there and then, has left a doubt in the minds of those of his own kindred. But the question becomes whether or not he needed to do everything all at once. As we have already demonstrated, Daniel's 70 weeks include the Messiah being cut off along with the destruction of the sanctuary, which is before the final week, which is the time of Jacob's trouble as found in Jeremiah 30, while in Jeremiah 5, the Lord states that he will visit and his soul will be avenged on the nation that abuses his sacrifices, which was apparent during the ministry of Christ and many of the prophets before. Now let us consider that the Lord has not always fulfilled his promises right away, and that even according to the obedience of the commandments, as well as the love shown to God, will affect how he responds even going as far as withholding said promises because of disobedience and disbelief. One of the clearest examples of this is that of the Exodus, which among their rebellious actions had not invaded the land of Canaan as instructed by Moses. Almost everyone knows what happened afterwards, but let's read a verse of scripture to demonstrate the point. Numbers 32 verse 13. And the Lord's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years, until all the generation that had done evil in the sight of the Lord was consumed. God's not opposed to letting an entire wicked generation pass away before bringing a new generation in to be blessed with his promises. God could have easily let them go directly into the land of Canaan after Egypt but because of disobedience left them to wander. Did God feel the same way in the first century? Let's hear what he had to say. Matthew 23 verses 37 to 39. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord.